Hey guys, welcome back to the Web Monkey Show. And yes, WordPress 6.5 is due to be released by the end of this month. And in today's video, I want to give you a very quick preview of some of the major changes coming with 6.5. And trust me when I say that these changes are actually really, really awesome. And WordPress continues to improve. And I'm really, really, really happy. But to my returning subscribers, let me first of all apologize for the obvious change in the quality of the video. I'm actually recording this in Tokyo, Japan. I'm in a hotel room right now. Now, I'm not back home in Thailand where I do have my regular studio, so I do apologize, but hopefully you will find this video useful all the same. So without wasting any more time, let's delve into the exciting new changes coming with WordPress 6.5. All right, so the first major change, and this is something that we've been asking for for many, many years. Finally, we're going to have the ability to install our own custom fonts or even install Google fonts if we prefer. Now, how you would do this is you would simply go to appearance, You'd go to your editor and then you can go to your styles. You click on the edit button for styles. And then over here to the right, you're going to click on typography. And then you're going to click on this button right here where you have fonts. You click in there to say manage fonts. And now you'll be able to upload your own custom fonts or even simply install fonts from Google directly. Finally, thank you, WordPress. We now have the ability to work with custom fonts. This is perhaps one of the best changes coming with 6.5. Now, moving on, let's talk about some design changes coming to our Gutenberg blocks. And I'm going to use this entire page in here to talk about them. Three main ones. The very first one is that the background images for our cover blocks, we can now add an aspect ratio to them. So how you would do this is very, very easy. You simply click on the cover image, you go to your styles, and then right down in here, you will see we have the aspect ratio, which you hold with a whole bunch of different options. You can choose with like the square, standard, portrait, classic portraits. Uh, you can go with tall if you want to, or you can go with wide. Really, really, really cool addition for the uh, background image for cover blocks. And then for the group blocks as well, let me try actually show you this is a row. You can now add background images to your group blocks as well. Very, very, very easy. You go to styles option and then right there you'll have background and then the background image uh, option available for you. And then finally, also regarding like your images, we can now add drop shadows to them. Now, how you would do this, you simply go to styles, you go to border and shadow, you click on three buttons right there. Make sure the shadow option is enabled and then right in there, you'll see drop shadow and then you can now choose different types of drop shadows to add to your images. And by the way, you can also apply this to your cover blocks and group blocks as well. I know these are kind of like very simple additions, but when you add, add all of them together, this can greatly improve the overall feel and design of your website. Now regarding block management, 6.5 has actually added a really cool feature and that's the ability to rename the custom block. So as an example, if I wanted to rename the role block to something more descriptive, I can click on the three buttons next to it and then simply go to uh, rename. And then for example, I can say uh, image block with text, just as an example. And just like that, I have renamed the row block or the group block to image block with text. Now there are some other exciting future changes coming to WordPress that I quickly wanted to talk about. One of the major ones being the block bindings API support. What it simply means is that with WordPress as a user, you'll finally be able to create your own custom fields as well as work with dynamic content as well. These are two really exciting changes coming with WordPress. It's not going to be available with 6.5. I think it's going to be available from 6.6 onwards. We'll see. Also, the ability to build like mega uh, menus on your header. You could technically do that right now with 6.5, but there are still some bugs with it. But once those bugs have been fixed, I will give you a tutorial on how to build your own mega menus working with WordPress 6.5. And then also, if you were to go to like the official uh, page on WordPress.org, talking about 6.5, there are so many other exciting changes coming. Uh, you're going to get the sync patterns. We were supposed to get this with 6.5. However, they had an update saying that um, it's still work in progress, so it won't be available with 6.5 possibly uh, with 6.6 uh, onwards. The API is going to get a boost as well. So many other changes like uh, getting more from your style revisions. Also, theme uh, authors, 
if you were to like develop your own custom theme or classic themes, you can also opt into the appearance uh, tools as well, where you will get some support from Gutenberg, also some more design tools on the way as well, and so much more information. I'll actually link this article in the description box below if you're interested in, in learning more of what's to come. However, I want to round this up by talking about a major significant improvement from 6.4 to 6.5, and this is regarding speed and performance. Take a look at that, okay? Compare 6.5 with 6.4. This, by the way, affects the block editor and site editor. So for typing, 6.5, you're gonna get four times uh, quicker. The first block load is gonna be over two times faster. The patterns load, 1.33 times faster and then the site editor first block load is going to be 1.5 times faster as well Seriously, come on man. You have to be excited. These are major changes coming to WordPress. WordPress is becoming more and more powerful and I know they still have quite some distance to go to catch up with the likes of like Elemental and others, but these are major, major improvements and WordPress continues to develop, continues to get even better and better and better and there is probably not, not, not been a better time to be a WordPress user uh, than today. So those are basically the major changes coming with WordPress 6.5. I will make a tutorial on how to work with the WordPress uh, mega menu once it's officially available. Remember once again that 6.5 is meant to be released or is due to be released by the end of this month in March. So I uh, will look forward to that. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, do give it a thumbs up. Share the video with anyone whom you feel might benefit from it. And of course, if you're new here to the channel, welcome. My name is Alex. I make content around WordPress web development. So if you do like content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a new video. If you have any comments, questions, or thoughts, I'd love to hear from you. Put them down in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer them as soon as I can. Stay safe out there and I'll talk to you next time on Before I Leave. Before I Leave, if you've made it this far, thank you. Let me just show you a very quick video that I took uh, at the aquarium here in Tokyo or in for like this very popular uh, dolphin show. So I'm just going to give you a very quick preview of what I witnessed uh, yesterday. Thanks and I'll see you next time. Cheers.